Okay, here we are. Uh, we have the graph pulled up now. Let's see what kind of numbers we got out of this thing. Okay, so power, 7, 12, 13, 14, 13. So 714 horsepower. So that's pretty pretty potent guy there. And um, 1,529, 30, 1,530 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, very, very good numbers out of a 66 millimeter charger you know, box, Borg Warner, turbocharger. I guess it's not a box charger. We have this in the .80 T3 housing again. Um, so it does very well. Uh, let's look at it by time right now. Uh, again, you can see just like the 69, this is way below the, the efficiency range of this turbocharger. It looks like it takes about 9.8 seconds from roll on to peak torque. Let's go ahead and pull up the 369 graph now, and um, we'll compare to see how they do. Uh, we really want to see how this does compared to that, and let me pull it up real quick, and we'll see. Okay. Well, the lower RPMs, the the 66 is the red, and the 69 is the green. Looks like the 66 is ahead a little bit, supposed to be a little quicker. And as you can see, the 69 definitely makes more power. We know it made 748 versus the 714 and so you know we're about 34 horsepower or so difference um, let's look at time let's go to make a time so there's a fair bit of time here so this guy is 9.6 so about a second not 10.7 it's about one second quicker to peak torque uh, so there is a substantial well there definitely is an advantage in the 66 as far as spool up um, and there's an advantage and the 69 in horsepower, and you can really see how mu how it really holds it so much better. This torque line really just here's an advantage the whole way through. So anyway, that's the difference. You got about 40, 35 to 40 more horsepower to the 369, about a second quicker to peak torque on the 366. Um, you know, they're very similar turbos. As you can see in the dyno graph, there's a little bit of difference one way or another. Uh, very cool though. Let's pull up the numbers here, take a look. Um, we made 714 horsepower before, 708, 9, 709. So, you know, as typically happens, we lose a little bit of power on the loaded runs, typically due to heat soak. Our torque goes up, 1620, 21. So big torque, um, horsepower is the same, holds a little bit flatter. 
compared to the unloaded run, do the extra load. Uh, let's compare this again to the 369. Same, same exact turbo, 0 .80 housing, um, same truck. Let's see how it looks. About the same story as our last one. The 66 comes up early. The 69 holds it better uh, on the top end. You can see the 66 falls compared to the 69. Comes up quicker. We're ahead of it for sure up to this point until they cross over. Um, yeah, that's about what I expect to see out of these two. Uh, the 66 is a little bit quicker. 69 makes a little bit more power. And um, that's what we found so far. Anyway, this is a test of the Borg Warner SXE 366. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call us here, 435-962-9555. Uh, visit us at PowerDrivenDiesel.com and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get these videos as soon as they're released. Thanks and we'll see you next time. Thank you.